Hi, I'm Vincent Rossillo, the managing partner of Fine All and Andaman's Workers' Compensation Department. And once again, I'd like to thank you for placing your trust in us and retaining us to represent you in your workers' compensation case. This short video is designed to provide basic information regarding the importance of medical reports with your workers' compensation case. I can't overstate how important it is to have up-to-date, appropriate medical reports. The workers' compensation insurance company will not pay weekly benefits unless they have the appropriate medical reports. And in fact, the workers' compensation board will not establish your case unless it receives the appropriate medical report. In legalese, we refer to this medical report as prima facie medical evidence. That means that your doctor must supply your medical report that gives a history of an accident, a diagnosis of your condition, and an opinion regarding cause of relationship. The doctor must comment that based upon the history that you provided to him or her, the condition that you're suffering from is causally related to your work activities. This is the report that starts your workers' compensation case. After that, if you're unable to work and claiming ongoing workers' compensation benefits, you must supply a medical report every 90 days. And that medical report must also give the history, the degree of disability, the diagnosis, and an opinion of cause of relationship. That degree of disability is very important as it determines the rate of compensation that you will receive. Medical reports play an important role throughout your workers' compensation case. They are, as I indicated before, important at the outset in order to have your case established. They are important during the middle of your case in order to receive ongoing payments. And they are important at the end of your case because the medical reports will determine the extent of your settlement. If you suffered a permanent loss of use to a limb, you may be entitled to an award to compensate you for that. However, your doctor must submit a medical report indicating the percentage loss of use that you suffered to that limb, or hearing loss, or vision loss. If you are unable to work, your doctor must submit a medical report providing an opinion regarding the permanent damage that you suffered to the site of injury, whether that be the back or the neck or some other site. The doctor must comment on your overall permanent degree of loss before we can determine the amount of money you will receive and for how long you will receive it. So I cannot overstate the importance of a medical report. And the Workers' Compensation Board, to make it easier for injured workers, has expanded the type of healthcare provider that can treat injured workers. So not only can a medical doctor treat you, but the law has been expanded so that in certain situations, nurse practitioners or um, chiropractors licensed social workers, uh, physician's assistants can also treat and file the appropriate reports. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to your legal assistant or your managing attorney. But remember, your doctor must submit timely reports, and those reports must address key issues of your case. Simply filing, a note from a doctor will not be sufficient unless it addresses all of the key points as I previously indicated. Thanks again for retaining us and we look forward to representing you in the future.